Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see how to create Windows EC2 instance. So let's start the video. So first you have to select the region here where you want to create the EC2 instance. So I have selected Mumbai region here. Then search service here like EC2 and click on EC2. Okay, then click on launch instance. First, we need to give name to our EC2 instance. So I'll give Windows EC2. Then scroll down. Okay, here we need to select the Windows Amazon machine image. So click on Windows, then scroll down. Here we need to select the AMI. Click on this arrow and you can click on this one, 22 base. scroll down here you can see t2 micro is already selected in the instance type so you can keep as it is yeah in this section you need to select the key pair if it is already created if not then you can create new key pair using this create new key pair option so click on that and give key pair name so i'll give windows key and you can keep rsa as it is then click on create key pair so key pair is downloaded, you can see here. The network settings, you can keep all these settings as it is. Here you can see RDP traffic is allowed from anywhere. It means you can access this machine from anywhere. Yeah, here in the storage section, you can keep 30 GB as it is because up to 30 GB it's free. Scroll down. Yeah, in the advanced details, you can keep all the details as it is. Okay, then click on launch instance. So launching instance is started. You can see here the status. It's successfully initiated. You can click on this ID. Okay, click on dashboard, then uh, click on instances, remove this filter, instance state running. So it's running and status check you can see here initializing. So we have to wait, refresh it. Okay, we have to wait for some time because here you can see the status is initializing. Okay, now two by two checks are passed. Now we can connect this EC2 instance. So for connecting this EC2 instance, you can click on this connect, then click on RDP client. And here you have to download RDP desktop file. Before that, you need to generate the password. So click on get password and you have to upload private key here. This one click on open so this is my private key and click on decrypt password yeah this is the password for our receipt instance then click on download remote desktop file so it has downloaded one RDP click on that then click on connect so this is the by default user administrator we need to just paste password Then click on OK. Click on Yes. Okay, RDP has been successfully done on that server. Yeah, now we are inside the RDP server. So here is the difference. You can see this is the RDP server and this is my local system, right? Yeah, like that you can create your windows server and you can take rdp to that server if you have any issues then you can ask me in the comment section then if you are done with your activity then you can close this server 
click on OK. Also, if you want to delete, then you can delete from here, instant state, and you can stop, reboot, and terminate from here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.